Hey guys, so kind of going along with my pricing theme, I just made a video on how much to charge as a bookkeeper. I also want to talk about QuickBooks and who pays for QuickBooks. So I did cover this briefly in my Q&A. That was a great question someone had asked then, but there's more to say about the topic. So I kind of wanted to go a little bit more in depth here and show you guys screenshots of QuickBooks online and kind of what the pricing looks like there. Hey, so obviously it's a different day, but I forgot to say something in this video that's really important. So a lot of people have asked me, is QuickBooks free? Or there's kind of like a thought out there that maybe QuickBooks doesn't cost money. To make an account in QuickBooks online accountant is free, it doesn't cost money. And to do your own business bookkeeping books, that is free as well. But as soon as you want to add any clients onto QuickBooks Online, that's when you have to start paying money. That's kind of like the gist of what I'm gonna talk about today is what the different options are to have your clients pay. So either you can pay or your clients can pay. But I know on the website, sometimes QuickBooks says it's a free resource, but as soon as you get a client, you do have to pay for QuickBooks or your client has to pay. So the short answer is basically either you or your client can pay for QuickBooks. So if it's a client that is wanting to purchase QuickBooks, I am definitely able to help them as a member of QuickBooks Online Accountant. So the first option and the one that I recommend most is getting them a wholesale deal. So in this way, you pay for them each month and you get them a good deal, which I'll show you in a minute. And then you can choose to get reimbursed however you want. So you can pay them, you can charge them exactly for their QuickBooks, the exact amount, you can charge them more. I personally just roll it into my services so it's like they're getting it for free even though it's part of my fees and in that case you have to be the one to pay up front for the software for the website you can also get them a deal i believe through quickbooks that where they pay so it charges their credit card every month it's not as good of a deal as if the bookkeeper pays what I typically do is if the client already has QuickBooks set up, then I just take over where they are and I don't worry about, you know, getting them a different subscription. I just let them keep paying for it and then I take over their books. And the cons I'd say to just taking over their QuickBooks account is that um, they're not getting that deal. And so I feel like part of like client retention as a bookkeeper might depend on that a little bit you know they're like oh the, my bookkeepers you know getting me fifty dollars off so that's like a fifty dollar more that i can pay them type of thing um if that makes sense i think there is a way to transfer a client who is already on quickbooks into your wholesale pricing let me know if you're interested that in that in the comments i think i saw that in one of my bookkeeper forums but i've never actually had to do that before so I'd imagine it would be like calling up into it and, you know, help, having them help you do the switch um, with the billing. So let me know in the comments if you want me to research that a little bit more. And I've said this before, I've gotten, I, they run the deal periodically that's five clients for $5 per month and you get that rate for two years. So that I think is the best deal that they offer. I don't know how, you know, what their cadence of when they offer it, but if you can find that one, that is a great deal. So right now, a lot of my clients are actually writing me paper checks, which is fine with me because it's easy for them and I don't have to pay any fees or anything for that. So I, I don't know, I'm fine with that. But ideally what I probably recommend is setting up um, ACH, which is like a bank transfer from their bank to your bank, have them do it at a fixed rate every month before you do your work, that would be like perfection if I could get all that. You know, there's just so many things when you own a business, you know, I have a huge to-do list of things that I'd like to do. So that's somewhere on the list, but not like a huge priority at this point. So those are kind of the pros and cons. I'm gonna hop over to my computer screen now. All right, here I am in QuickBooks Online Accountant. If you have no idea how to get here, then um, go to my video that talks about the free certification for bookkeepers. So then go to the pro advisor, go to the benefits tab and then scroll down a bit. And this is all the benefits you get as a pro advisor. So once you take your bookkeeper certification, you get a bunch of, you know, cool things cause they want to keep you interested. So go to software and services. And then here is where the QuickBooks deals are. So you get a discount for all of your clients. And if you, I'm gonna just kind of pretend like I'm signing up a new client. So I'll hit subscribe. All 
All right, and then you can see that you, if you wanted to put in a new client, you would put their business name, their email, etc. And then you can see down below, it has all of the prices listed. So the first one I'm clicked on wholesale. So you can see the prices range from seven to $105 right now. And they do change, you know, every year I'd say, or every so often, depending on what QuickBooks is, how their pricing is going. But usually the self-employed is $15. You can get it for your client for $7. And um, same with Essential. I think my clients currently have Plus, so it's the $35 a month one. And that's because I got a different deal on Plus. Um, usually I think Essentials pretty much has everything you would need. The only thing different with Plus is if you need to do 1099s at the end of the year, or if you need to do inventory, which I don't usually do, or class tracking. So some clients do want class tracking. I have someone who is a realtor and they have different properties and they want to track all the different properties and see how profitable they are. So that's what we use classes for, as well as you can do it for a variety of different things. All right. And then advanced is for bigger clients. And then so this, the, if when the client is billed, it's a direct discount. So you can see that the prices, the pricing's different here. So I think it looks like the self-employed is similar, but then the other ones are more expensive if you, if the client is billed directly. So I think QuickBooks basically wants bookkeepers to be in charge of, or accountants, um, be in charge of paying the subscription fees probably because we're reliable especially if we have a firm that you know we're just in the habit of paying that fee and then but if you don't want to deal with that if you don't want to upfront the money for your clients then the direct discount is also fine to do so that's what the pricing looks right now in january of 2020 um, for QuickBooks Online. A thumbs up helps me out so much if you give me a thumbs up it lets youtube know to show this video to other people and subscribe to my channel if you made it all the way to the end of listening to me talk and listening to my screenshots. So I'd love to have you. My name is Morgan from findpoints.biz and I love helping you guys get organized. Let me know in the comments if you like organizing videos or if you really are here for the book, like starting your bookkeeping business videos. Cause I've definitely been doing more bookkeeping videos. I do love the organization stuff too. If you guys are interested in that, let me know.